Okay, I need to tie my hair. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Um, girl, turn the AC on. I can't. My room doesn't have AC. Crazy, right? The other rooms have AC, but not mine. And I'm like too. I'm mean, like already here. Like, so we're just gonna. Look, I'm so sweaty. What the heck? Um. Oh, this is. Okay, guys. We need to like get this over with done and fast. Okay. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Okay, I'm done with the blush, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get ready, and I'm, like, sweating my ass off. This is, like... Okay, good mood, good vibes. Where did my blush go? It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's fine. Trying not to have a freak out. Okay. Oh, Lord almighty, bless me with patience. This is pissing me off. Oh my God, I was literally talking to someone about that the other day. You know how you're like, Lord bless me with patience, and then he gives you the opportunity to be patient, and then that just pisses you off more. Oh. So yeah, this is the opportunity for me to be patient. So I'm going to be patient and patiently get my makeup done. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do my mascara. And I think I should be done. I think that should be it. I should be okay. So I need to relax. I just have one more step. My brush, this is from KKW Beauty. I got it from Adita. She was like, you want this? I was like, yes, I do actually. Okay. Now that I'm in a better mood and have relaxed a little bit, how have you guys been? Oh, that was like hell. I did not enjoy that. Um, also, there was like a pervert in my live like a few minutes ago and he was like saying really gross and nasty things. And I was like, leave me alone. I don't know what everybody wants from me. I'm just trying to get ready and get my makeup done. And look at all my baby hair. Ugh, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Oh my god. Chaplerone. She's like going crazy on TikTok. That was so funny. Hi. Where are you from? I go to Ateneo. Go Eagles. School spirit or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm from the Philippines, but I grew I was born and raised in the States. But, like, my parents are also... I don't know what that is. I'm, like, a third culture kid, which is... Oh, my God. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. Third culture kids. I realize now that almost all of my friends are third culture kids because I'm a third culture kid. And that's just, like, what I am attracted to. I'm attracted to other third culture kids. When did I move back to the Philippines? When I was nine, I think. But at like that point, it was like way too late. I had like already fully formed my personality, which is crazy at nine years old, but it had happened already and it was too late and then there was no taking it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I grew up in the States and that was like definitely a character building experience. Cause I think, especially where I grew up in the States specifically, like I grew up in the Bay Area, which is like a very like liberal, open-minded, diverse area and then they moved me to manila and i was like what is this in like 2012 and i was like i was like what is this why did you guys do this to me and i was so mad like everyone in my family knows that like from the ages of like 9 to like 12 i was like the angriest i had ever been in my whole entire life I was like, why did you people do this to me? This is like, this felt like child abuse. <laughs> I was like, this is like, is this like a punishment? Like, this is like not funny. But like now I realize that like moving here was also character building. Like it definitely made me who I am today. But like at the time and at the age that I was, I was so upset. You like couldn't pay me to be happy. Like I was like, I was mad at the entire world, the entire world. 
It was just crazy. Uh, do I have any plans of living in the States? Not anymore, I don't. Uh, maybe I'll go visit sometime, but, like, I don't think I want to, like, go live and live. But I don't know. Actually, like, I say that and then I could end up moving there. I never know what the plan is. First of all, I don't have a plan. Second, the world is wide and I think I want to explore it first before I decide where I want to, like, settle down, settle down. So, yeah. Um... And also just like, well, yeah, I am a U.S. citizen. Um, I don't know, it was just like weird because like they moved me to Manila, but like also my parents are from, like their family's from Cebu and my, their other family's from Dumaguete. So it's like, no one spoke Tagalog in our household. So like it made it hard for me in school to like converse uh, just because it was like, why can't you speak Tagalog if you've lived here for so long? And everyone is expecting me to like know how to speak Filipino, but it's also like my family is Bisaya. I don't know what you want from me. So yeah, I'm like trying to think about my next. Okay, my tops from SM. Okay, see now that I've relaxed a little bit, I'm like not as flustered. That was so stressful. Um, I wouldn't say I'm fluent in Bisaya, but I can speak a little bit and I can understand completely. Uh, I've lived in the Philippines for like almost 12 years. So yeah, I've like lived here longer than I've lived there. Uh, I'm from Ateneo. Woo. I don't know what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> and everyone was asking me like, why did you go from Ateneo to this? from the salt Ateneo the salt Ateneo and I was just like I don't know I wanted to like what do you I don't know what you want me to say I didn't want to go to La Salle so I went to Ateneo like that was literally my only and also my entire family went so I was just like I'm, just, I'm gonna go there too I guess oh I miss my vlogs too guys I honestly have so many and they're like really old so it's gonna be like hashtag throwback Thursday so <laughs> if you guys still want to see my old vlogs well then I'll be posting them because I have one from my birthday, which was like eight months ago, oh, which is like really long ago. And I'm so sorry. I'm like such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> but that they're from a long time ago. So sorry, guys. Uh, my eyelash curler is from Revlon. So, OK, we got to put on the mascara now. It's like actually pissing me off how humid it is. Oh. And also, again, like, even just, like, moving from the States to here and then realizing it's so humid all the effing time. Oh, Lord. It was, like, I went from, like, the sun just being, like, this, like, wonderful little thing that makes you warm to, like, this thing that, like, bites you in the ass. Because <laughs> the sun is, like, not the same in the States. It's, like, really different. We're just gonna like have like a moment of silence while I do <laughs> my mascara. I have to focus guys or else I will totally, totally, totally poke myself in the eyeballs. Which I've done multiple times by the way. Okay. I'm not paying 2,000 pesos for a fan. <laughs> That is insane. I'm sorry. $50 for a little handheld fan. I have up on my pie. It's gonna do the job. Uh, I don't put lower lash mascara. Just because I would look like a raccoon. And I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, we're done. That's enough. Guys, that actually pissed me off so bad just trying to get ready. Oh my